In our next story, we travel to the city of Brookhaven, who, in an effort to enhance their entertainment scene, holds their own version of Woodstock every year, except they call it Brookstock. And it really started off as a reunion among friends, but now it's a music festival open for everyone. Stock weekend and it is jam-packed full of activities and this place is buzzing. It is significant. I mean the hotels are full, the restaurants are full, uh, and it's it's like a, a big homecoming. Brookstock is in Brookhaven, Mississippi. Uh, therefore Brookstock, Woodstock, that whole thing. Um, we started this in 1998 for a class reunion. We got our old high school band together. Brookstock started off as a class reunion for a lot of the main musicians there. Don Jacobs and Virgil Brawley and Brian Batson and Ed Tree. We were in uh, class of 68. I moved here when I was eight years old from Florida and it was pretty much culture shock. Everybody was hunting, fishing, playing football, baseball, and I just, I, I, as I grew older, I realized I wasn't into sports particularly. I wasn't into hunting and fishing. And uh, in about 1964, the Beatles came along, and suddenly it was like, bam, a uh, whole new deal. And that kind of opened me up to a lot of stuff. Uh, I got fascinated with the music, the idea of songwriting. Virgil Brawley approached me at school one morning and uh, said he'd heard I played a little guitar and would I be interested in starting a band. I was immediately like, yeah, yeah, you know. It was, I was, I never, I always wanted to do that, but I didn't, I, wouldn't, I never would have had the courage, I think, to do it on my own, or not at that age anyway. So suddenly, uh, I had band status, and uh, in high school, that was a big deal. By the time we got back together for what became Brookstock, we had not played together in 30 years. And uh, in the meantime, everybody had improved as musicians. And uh, so by the time we got up to play, we sounded better than we ever had before, and we had a blast. And we decided we should get together every year and do this. So the first two or three years, it, it was a little, you know, we had like 75 people one year. And I, I didn't think it would last more than two or three years. But uh, here we are 18 years later and uh, going strong. And it's, just, it, it's it's gotten a lot bigger over time. I mean, now people are uh, planning their vacations around it, you know, local people. And so we've got them coming from all over the place. Even overseas, we got a, we've got a, a man all the way from Scotland here this year. Callum came a long way in the ferry down from Stornoway. It couldn't be a fisher, a dream we were well wish Well, well, well. The first thing that struck me is uh, one of the guys in the band, you know, as soon as I met him, uh, he asked me if I needed a guitar. Which, you know, and for me that's just, that's been par for the course all week. You know, just people are so friendly and generous. So, I mean, that's really, I think, it's been the main, the main aspect of my stay in, in, in Brookhaven. The people are just so friendly. Southern hospitality. That's what you hear about, but I, I've, I've experienced it firsthand, yeah. We will have the singer-songwriter, Brookstock singer-songwriter at Recess 101. Five singers, three songs each in the round. And it's not just my age people now. It's starting to be younger age people that are starting to come. For instance, tonight, Sophie Smith is singing tonight on the uh, singer-songwriter stage. She was one of the kids last year. This year, she's a seasoned a veteran and is writing songs that are just gonna kill you, you know. I lost my school spirit when I heard that you had graduated. I'm 
feeling faint like you were cologne. And I searched in my pocket. Uh, Friday night at the Haven, we have Brookstock 2. And so that's some of our younger guys and gals that play and write songs and are amazingly talented. It's kid rock. I mean, these kids, they're part of Greg Smith's rock academy here in town. And Greg is the guru. He is the guitar guru, one of the best teachers I've ever seen in my life. And these kids, he gets these kids to play stuff. He's just, a, he's a magic man. And, and, and that, that night, I sort of put, put it together, but Greg assembles all the talent. The whole city has kind of, it feels like it's kind of taken the whole thing on. And, and gradually, the, the whole music scene in Brookhaven has just kind of grown. Uh, thanks to t people like Tyler, he's got the music store, Tyler Bridge. They, they offer lessons for kids. Uh, they've got a rock school. We're kind of, it's kind of like the community has come together to build a, a music scene here. I never in a million years dreamed it would have become what it has, but, uh, but it's just the, the people who participate really love doing it and, and are passionate about the music and, and, the, and the town and the surrounding areas have supported it wonderfully. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads. Down Mississippi.